Hey everybody, this is Ditto from Reef to Reef. What I'm going to show today is how easy it is to connect your GHL Doser 2.1 to your home network utilizing the GHL Connect app. It is important that you download the latest version of the GHL Connect software for either your iPhone or your Android device. Once you have done that, what you need to do is unbox your Doser 2.1 and power it up. Upon powering it up, you're going to go to your phone and you're going to go to your settings and you're going to notice that a new network appears labeled GHL-Doser2 and you need to connect to that network. Upon doing so, a checkbox is going to appear and you're going to notice if you do the info, you are now assigned a new IP address from the hotspot of the GHL-Doser. What you're going to do next is you're going to minimize your settings and you're going to open up the GHL Connect app and you're going to receive a message stating it cannot connect to the cloud services and you need to continue offline. And now you're going to add the new doser. You're going to choose your doser 2 and you're going to enter in the display name that you wish for this doser. You will not need to change the host IP address as you are using the hotspot IP of the connected doser. I'm naming mine Doser 2.1, SA for master. I'm going to choose done and then choose add. And then I'm going to click on the Doser 2.1 and I'm going to connect to the Doser's hotspot. And now, as you can see, I am on the Doser. From here, I need to click the hamburger icon and choose network. And I need to set up the network. I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi settings. I'm going to enable the client and I'm going to enter in the SSID of my wireless network. Upon doing so, I'm going to en enable my encryption and my encryption type. And then I'm going to enter in my Wi Fi key. Once I am done inputting my Wi-Fi key, I'm going to choose done and then apply. Since I am not going to be using a, a dynamically assigned IP, I'm going to be using obtain IP address. I'm going to disable it and I'm now going to enter in my IP statically. I like to use static IP addresses for a couple of reasons. Number one is this ensures that if I get a power outage, my devices come up with the same IP address. And also I would not no longer need to go into the GHL Connect app and change the IP address in the event of that power outage. I'm going to set my subnet mask and I'm going to set my default gateway. And then once I complete that, I'm going to choose done. Now with my IP address statically assigned and my wireless information also entered, I'm going to choose to save options in the GHL Connect app. Once you choose to save options, a warning box is going to appear telling you that you're going to lose connectivity to the device as it applies to settings. Choose yes. This process takes anywhere from one minute to a minute and a half to actually have your doser now connect to your network. If you do attempt to still connect to your doser 2.1, you're going to notice that you are not going to be able to. What also happens is that during this phase, the doser 2.1's hotspot is disabled while it's actually connecting to your home network. And you're automatically disconnected and auto-joined if your phone supports it back to your wireless network. So while you're trying to establish the connection to the hotspot, you're going to notice that the GHL Connect app is going to sit there and spin as it's trying to establish the connection to your doser and it's going to come back and give you an error message stating it cannot connect to the doser. What you then need to do is click OK, go to your doser settings again and enter in the host IP address that either you put in statically or the DHCP IP address that was assigned to the doser. For me, since I had a static IP, I'm entering in that IP address and I'm choosing done and then save. Now, when I click on the doser 2.1, it's going to now connect to the doser via my home network. With that said, I can now go in and start configuring the rest of the doser. And that's it. It's that easy to connect your doser 2.1 to your home network and start utilizing it within the GHL Connect app. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Or as always, you can look me up. This is Ditto from Reef to Reef, signing off.